name's Sam Whitaker. I farm uh, in Southeast Arkansas with my brother Jim. We grow cotton rice, corn, and soybeans. As far as early planting, we have done uh, probably a two-thirds of our corn planted already. Uh, started in you know, in mid-March. You know, typically we try to try to be a little on the early side just because, uh, you know, we watch the weather and everyone wants to plant everything uh, when the weather's right and, uh, and all that. But if you really if you wait till everything's perfect, you probably won't get anything planted here in Arkansas. So part of the reasons for that, our, our farm is diverse. Uh, so we've got competing crops that have to be harvested, at, you know, at different times. We can't uh, we need the corn to be in early so we can get the corn in and out before uh, the rice harvest starts and before the bean harvest starts. So uh, if we try to plant everything, you know, in a compressed window, we'd have to harvest in a compressed window. So, you know, early planting has risk and pitfalls. Uh, you know, you could replant, you could get sunny crops, you could, uh, you know, have some issues, but late planting's got risk. So uh, the risk for late planting may be greater than the early planting, you know, what, we're, what we found out over the years. So. Uh, we like to be on, on the front side of that window. Anytime in March when the weather, we get a break in the weather, we like to start planting corn there. And probably from the last week in March on and with, with soybeans and, uh, and rice also. Specifically, I, you know, we look at the soil temperature, you're looking at that, you're looking at, you know, corn, you, you, know, you want it to be 50 degrees or, or moving into 50 degrees. A lot of times we'll start, like start on the cool side if the forecast is looking toward warming up and drying out hit or the biggest risk is a plant you know if you're planting a day or two you know the day before you get a cold wet rain if you if you uh, you know sometimes we'll stop a day or two before that rain of their calm for a rain event if you get a couple of warm days crops even you know corn soybeans cotton rice all of them really if they get if they get a little bit of a, a head start before that uh, that cold uh, wet weather you'll usually be okay. Typically, especially with soybeans and, and corn to an extent. Also, you know, we're, we're, we're fighting, you know, we're not in the corn belt, we're not in the soybean belt, we're in the Mid-South, and the Mid-South uh, is the first place that, you know, you get corn or soybeans, so a lot of times you get an early, pre er, an early premium on the market for those, for those crops. Mm -hmm. We're always refining the process, so we're, we're taking, uh, doing a lot of experimentation with cover crops. It seems to keep the ground, uh, in, in place a little better, seems to give a little little uh, little better water water infiltration. Things seem to hold up a little better. Your harvest plan starts with your planting plan. So as we're as we're planning, we're thinking about hey, we're going to plant here first. We're going to harvest here first. We're going to harvest this crop, at, you know, at this time in this slot, and uh, try to utilize our equipment and men better. And uh, in order to, to get things in a timely fashion, this probably the ten day forecast would be a be a good. You know, you look and see when it's you know when it when it's, when, it, when the ground's dry enough you don't want to plant you know one, one mistake i think a lot of people do is that you know you don't want to work work the ground wet you don't want to plant wet you the, a lot of a lot of land you can get on but you don't need to be there so mm -hmm. we, you want to get you know for me it's I want, I want the ground conditions to be uh to be right uh proper dryness proper soil temperature and then when it's ready to, to move you know to move fast you know key is being a little flexible you know you can't be real rigid with the you know, with your thinking, you've got to be, you got to constantly be looking for new ways. You can't say this is the way that I did it last year and it's going to work, or this is the way dad or granddad did it. The changes with uh, science, technology, the equipment, everything is, is changing. Don't know where it's going, but I do know it's going to change, and it's going to, and change is inevitable, and you've got to, uh, you've got to kind of stay in front of it.